Hello, uh, welcome back this time around. Once more, my name is Anthony Manuel. Um, we're going to be continuing from where we stopped in the last um, introduction series on the Frappy Cloud um, tutorial. Um, this time around, we are going to create a site. You're going to learn how to create a site. Um, it, it gets deployed automatically without you having to you know, run any bench, run any installation, no Nginx, no Redis, no, you don't need to, you know, kind of uh, go to any bench and run any commands or we be done at the click of a button. Okay, and here's how to create a site. Once you are logged in to your um, Frappy Cloud account, I'm on my dashboard. I could, you know, get back to the dashboard. Once uh, uh, you come to the site, you click on dashboard to log in. Once you click on dashboard, if you are not yet logged in, you'll be presented with um, a form to fill in your email and password. Once that is ready, it will be automatically redirected to the login um, dashboard. Yeah, you're gonna, once you log in, you may be presented with this screen, but if you can't find your dashboard, just click on dashboard. Um, this is gonna load your dashboard. And now we're gonna create a new site. Um, you click on this button, this, um, I call it a blue button, I don't know the color. You have to click on this new site button. Once you click on it, you'll be presented with this screen. Um, this screen just tells you to choose a subdomain that will be attached directly to frappy.cloud. Although you'll still be able to attach your domain later on, but for the now, you're going to feed a subdomain. So I'm going to call it uh, GOS. So you're going to be GOS.frappy.cloud and next. Okay. Um, this kind of um, checks if this domain is available. If it is not available, you're probably going to see some. You know, message here that says this domain is not available. Once it's available, you can click on next and it presents you with another screen. What this screen specifically means or is trying to say is that choose the version of Frappe you want deployed. Now uh, you have version 12, you have version 13, and you have nightly the daily updates. But first, um, since um, 13 is stable, I'm going to go for version 13. Once that is done, you have this other, you know, screen that kind of asks you, um, what other custom application would you want to install? By choosing these numbers here, version, you are only selecting Frappy. Note that ERP Next is not involved, just Frappy. And the default apps, though, this list is going to increase in the future, I believe. You have ERP Next, PDF on Submit, Wiki, Twilio, uh, next cloud, uh, Telegram, uh, ERP, next e commerce, and POS or some. But for the now, I'll advise you even if you are interested in any of these apps, just wisely choose ERP next first. Once Frappe and ERP next has been installed and you've set up your app correctly, you can now go back to the dashboard, which I'm going to show you later, and click on any of these apps to install them so as to avoid any issues later on. So, first, if you intend to install Frappe alone, you should not select ERP Next. Just select only the version you want and click Next. But I intend to select ERP Next because a you know number of users are interested in ERP Next, and that's the main reason why they are kind of you know using the platform. Okay, so here I'm selecting Frappe version 13 and adding ERP Next to it and click Next to move forward. Now, this screen here uh, is a very important screen and it's going to depend on how you make your decision. Now, you have two options. You have upload from backup and migrate from site trial. And here you see some said restore an existing site. Restore an existing site from backup files or directly from site trial. This first option here, upload, means if you already have an existing site, you wish to migrate to Frappe Cloud. All you have to do is you download the site database file. That is a um, database.sql.gz. Uh, then you can also um, download the public files involved and the private files. You click on these buttons to upload each of the files. Once that is completely uploaded, you click next. Your a disk skip button will change to next. Or you can migrate from a URL. The meaning of this is on your existing site, log into the site and you know click on backup or go to your terminal and click bench backup. Once you are done with that, you enter your site URL here. It could be you know um, 
https colon slash slash dot com if the, in my erp is here or uh, erp dot girls dot com then you enter your email your email could be you know could be um your administrator could be the administrator login administrator or it could be your you know system user email x at y dot com anything that is your email that you know kind of an admin email then you enter the passwords for your you know erp next instance and click on backup once you click on this backup though i didn't enter any information that's why i got this error it will automatically fetch the backup for you from your existing erp next site once it is complete this button will change from skip to next and once you click next the site gets provision for you or your uploads will be moved to the site and provision for you in few minutes now i did not select uploads or migrate from once this is not select it means that you are going to get a fresh install that you will set up later by yourself so for the now i'm going to select a fresh install and later on i'm going to show you how to you know even if you have created this site move an existing database file to the site or even from your bench you can actually migrate from your bench you have something that helps you migrate from your bench um some tools you are going to get to that once you you know execute the command it kind of attaches a get frappe cloud into your terminal from your terminal it push the database and other files straight into frappe cloud and in the background the whole process will be executed so for the now i'm going to click on skip next you will be asked for uh, a plan you want you know to be attached to your site for the now i have nothing on my site it's completely blank it's a fresh install i'm going to select a ten dollar and note this one hour does not mean it's only be off for one hour in a day it will off for 24 hours in a day and computed or calculated based on the cpu usage not on how long you it does not matter how long you are on the site it's something that can place in the background you can check the pricing rules to see how it works now i'm going to click on create site once you click on this button automatically frappe cloud in the background set up your system from configuring setting up your you know bench to creating the sites um pulling a erp next into the bench uh pulling any other custom hub you must have clicked on then creating the site using the name you have selected uh after the site is up it kind of attach the ssl to it and make the site available to you so that you can actually kind of add your own domain to it later on and log into the site so this is going to take a while it's going to take some few minutes to get ready so i'm going to pause uh, until it gets ready and here i'm going to explain this you have this called job this job showed you shows you the processes being carried out to get your site ready and on this side of the screen is the you know steps it takes to get your site up and running automatically now you see it moves from new site to install app once the site is created or provisioned the a custom app will be installed and the custom app that should be installed right now is ERP Next because I only selected ERP Next. Once the process is complete, you'll see a screen like this, and this screen looks exactly what, like what you have in the front end. Okay, I'm going to explain what you see here. First of your site is provisioned and ready. Here you have an overview of what your site looks like, and this button says your site has just been provisioned. So you go, you have to log into the site to you know, get it up and running by set up your since ERP Next is already um, installed. You set up your site, uh, company, accounting, and some other information. And next you have usage. If any usage analytics you know <clears throat> has been captured, it's going to be shown here. And this other information shows that who created this kind of activities that went on in the site. Whoever logs in, be it your team member, any activities performed will be logged in and you can click on all activities to see every information relating to this site's operation. You can create as many sites as you want. Next, you have um, <clears throat> your plan. You are currently on $10 plan and your usage as well. 
if at any point you you know kind of exhaust this plan and you want to move to the next you click on change plan and it presents you with the next level you can kind of move up to the next level okay and that's it and record that um um how am i gonna put it now um you are not charged uh, just for one hour in a day it's just based on cpu usage and um next one here we have just the information of who created the site and this button is to de deactivate the site once you deactivate the site analytics gets paused and your charges gets dropped automatically you will no longer be charged until you reactivate the site here is to kind of delete the site from Frappier. and once that is done this site gets deleted and this name is free to be reused again and this other information here is to add, attach your personal domain to this instance. Rather than access it through gods.rapid.com, you can attach your own wise list domain like gods.com by clicking on this add domain and feeding the information. But before doing that, you have to kind of um, attach this DNS. I'm going to show you how to do that. Attach your kind of uh, frappy.cloud.com to your you know, uh, domain uh, service DNS before it can be automatically added here. And um, this other side here shows the apps. Recall, you can install your own custom application to any site on Frappy Cloud, as long as it is a Frappy-based application. You can install it because your GitHub um, account is gonna be attached to this Frappy Cloud uh, um, instance or your Frappy Cloud, you attach your GitHub and from there you can pull up your own application. We get to that in later in the session to see how we can do that. And what you have is the apps correctly installed to your site at the moment. Okay, scroll down. Now, what we have is Frappy. I selected Frappy version 13. We have Frappy version 13 and ERP Next version 13 as well installed to our site. And that's just how, um, what this overview contains. Next tab is the analytics. Now, the analytics shows your usage counter, your uptime, how long, as time goes on, this graph here will be plotted. It just shows you what you have done with the site. As it is, I have not used the site, I have not logged in. That's why we have this blank screen here. Once the site is up and running and being used, you will get the analytics log here. Next there is one of the most important thing you can do is this backup and restore. Now, a backup, the backup is automatic. It occurs, um, I think, three hours in a day. I'm sorry, three times a day. You get a backup automatically and it's moved to Frappy, um, sorry, um, Amazon S3. Mean that from your ten dollar subscription, you also get a backup attached to it. And here you have this button. You have some information right here. The first one says restore databases. Right now, uh, say you kind of you know did something and you want to restore your database. If you have some backups here already, you can actually restore your database from the existing backup by clicking on restore database. But there are other ways to kind of restore it. Okay, uh, okay I'm going to do this later. I'm going to click on schedule backup later. I'll do it to be backed up automatically. Then on each of the backup, you can click on it and you see a menu that will say restore. That backup itself can be restored back into the system. Then this other button here that says restore backup, enables you to kind of move an existing ERP next instance to this um, Frappy Cloud dashboard. Now, all you have to do is get your database backed up and ready, your public files, private files backed up and ready. Click on select each of them and click restore once the upload is complete. It will automatically migrate your existing ERP next instance into this site here. And this is to migrate, um, make migration. Um, every time you kind of update your site, because whenever a new update is available, automatically it's going to show on your dashboard, and we'll see that later on. Once you click on it, you can actually come here, or after you must have installed your custom application, you want the you know database table to you know be kind of migrated or made or updated. You kind of click on, you come here and click on this migrate database. Once you click on this migrate database, it will make your database up to date and match it with your customization or your custom apps. Here, our uh, reset database is gonna wipe your site clean and set it to you know, uh, a fresh instance. 
and clear cash enables you to you know do what um this command does bench clear catch that's what it does and the migrate does this and i might have to kind of zoom this the migrate does same as this bench migrate so this frappe cloud kind of completely el eliminates the need for you to um use your bench to run some of this action and recall i told you that SSL will be automatically provisioned for you. You do not need to, you know, do anything to get the SSL. We're going to see that once we open the site or log into the site. Next is site configuration. In any of your um, sites in your bench, you have this site on that's for config with JSON file that you can set up your, you know, database key information. You have your, um, um, encryption keys you have some other information you can attach to it you can do that here we're going to explore it later on or i might just quickly do some brief editing here to add any information here you click edit like um sites once you click on the edit button you can add information for example you want to add server scripts you click on add keys you will type the name server script. Then you select the type of values, either string, number, JSON, Boolean. Then it's gonna select a Boolean and select one or zero. That's gonna add server scripts. You already see it here. Or I enable server script or server script enabled, whichever uh, configuration key you feel like adding. You click on save. Once you click on save, the JSON site underscore JSON files get automatically updated. That's how you can add configuration to your site underscore config. And you can also, when you move your or migrate any existing ERP next instance, you can also come here to add a key for your encryption key. You click here, add key. Here you can type encryption key, encryption key. Then it should be a string. You enter the value for the encryption key. And that's it for the site configuration. The job shows, you know, activities that is going on within the site. If you migrate or you update the site, you're going to see it in the job. And logs is kind of for, for uh, what's going on within your site. And activities is users' activities. It could be team member. It could be you, the admin. Whatever you do is logged in to these activities. And that's just it for the brief on site. You can also, you know, go back to your dashboards and in your dashboard, you see the list of sites you have. You can attach more sites, as many sites as you want by going through the same step. And that's it on the dashboard. We'll explore more. We're going to see how we can attach our own custom application, uh, manage our benches and some other information. Thanks for watching. Now, please do like and subscribe to this channel so you can get updates whenever new videos are made available. Thank you.